Hello to my beautiful crafty creators. Today I will make, be making a wine rack and the coasters. And today I'm doing this video for someone special, okay? Her name is Camelia Knack. That's K-E-M-L-I-A-K-N-A-A-K. -A 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 -K. Camelia Knack. And she requests that I do it in a teal and gold. So I'm gonna use my favorite because I want it to look very nice. Um, so I'm gonna be using the May Springs Turquoise Blue. Um, and remember this is FDA approved, all not natural mica pigment. So I must have been really, 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 really nervous to say that, y'all, because, because it seemed like I'm twisting up all my words. Look, y'all. Isn't that pretty? Oh, my. So gorgeous. So gorgeous. I'll leave it right there so you can see. Um, oh, and I meant to tell y'all, the reason I have these little um, pearls there, the little fake pearls, is to keep it open there because as the resin gets a little um ooh, that's a lot as the resin hardens it don't really give you a space there you almost got to break your your wine glass to get it to uh, work right but oh that's so pretty oh Okay. Okay. Camilla. Camilla. I hope you like that. That is so pretty. That is. Oh my goodness. Look at that. And it seems like it has a hint of the gold already in it. That's scrumptious right there. But what I want to do. Because y'all know. I like to add my ink, okay? And um, I have the one of the uh, newest Let's Resin inks. The ones that's like this right here. Okay? And I'm just, see that color there? I'm just gonna add a couple of drops. And, let's see, it's big. It's twice the size of the general um, let's risen. See, I did one drop. Give me a second, y'all. I gotta see how I like it. Okay, I, I want one more. One more. That's it. But um, yeah, this this size is twice the size of the let's risen uh, colors. These right here. I have this is twice that size but this is the pastels color the pastel colors okay I think this is in there well look see that I'm hoping you can see this good as always it never shows the true true color on camera and I think this is what I'm gonna do I put my spinner up here, y'all, because I feel like I can work a little bit better oh, with the spinner. I don't know. Maybe I need to get used to it first. <laughs> this is going all over the place. It might not have been a great idea little spot that I missed right here okay hmm that color is gorgeous it really is gorgeous And you 
you know May Springs is gonna make it look even better. <laughs> yes. Okay, wait a minute. Let's see here. Oh no. Let's not let's not use the spinner. Let's make sure you can still see that. Of course you can. Just trying to take it over a little bit. You can still see that. Okay. Now let's let's go back here and get this little corner here that wanted to misbehave. All right. I tell you, sometimes this is very therapeutic. I like it. Now, I better decide how, how I'm gonna do this because like I said, May Springs, it really is going to just, you know, do its own thing. I have an idea. Oh gosh. I hate when my ideas come at the spare of the moment. If this one hadn't already started coming out, I would actually try that idea that I was thinking of. But maybe I can just get it to equal out. that this one wasn't that way let's go ahead and get this pushed out right here I want to push that back out Now this one is, is not going to be the same as this one. Okay, so I've got to get some more resin. And while I get it, it's just... I don't want those bubbles. Woo, that was a lot. <laughs> it was cool though, right? I know. I know y'all like that. I tell you, I'm sorry, y'all. I, I change my mind about so many things sometimes. And it's because of, you know, if I feel it, um, it has to be what I like. And I wasn't liking it for a moment there. I'm upset with this one, but I think it'll all turn out to be the same. So what y'all have planned for this weekend on this nice hot Saturday, because it is a hot, it's a hot one. Y'all didn't plan to go to a park or on a beach or at a picnic, dinner and a movie. What y'all had in mind? I didn't have anything in mind. I've been gone almost all, uh, almost all morning. And I was like, I'm ready to get to my shop so I can do a video. And for some reason, y'all, I promise I'm addicted. <laughs> 
I am so addicted. I don't think this will be a, a video that I'm going to let y'all listen to me talk. I'm probably going to play music because uh, I don't know. I don't feel like I've got good conversation today. Sometimes I have good conversation, but today is not one of them. It's not. It's really not. So, okay, let me finish filling this up. So I think that is level. And this one had a good ways to fill up. Okay, I think that's level. So now, what I'm gonna do is pour from the center part on this one. So I'm going to just pour from the center because I want it to scratch out, okay? And that's the reason why I started with this little cup here. It's gonna eventually I'm hoping to eventually have it so that it's clear. Or I pour it on the table, I'm pouring in the center of the hole. Oh, this is just not turning out right. That's what I should have done from the start. And I'm letting it run all the way out. Is it there yet? Nope, not quite. Almost though. Is that it now? Mm. It's just right there. That's enough. Okay. Now, I want a touch of heat. A nice ribeye steak with the bone in. You know, you could, you can't really find those anywhere. See, there it was. You can't really find those anywhere, and it's like, gosh. And I'm gonna use some testers some testers um, model paint. Okay. I really hope I don't mess this up. Because uh, I'm nervous and I'm trembling. Waking for you to walk in. I try hard to relax. Just can't keep still, no. Mm. Hey, bit it right up in this jump. Not doing anything, just adding a little bit of this testers. Uh, model paint okay and you don't want the resin to go back in your um 
into your little container. So try to, if at, if at all possible, try to make sure you wipe it each time, okay? Let's get some stuff going on in here. almost did it. I almost added more more um, of this tester's paint. I meant the resin into the tester's bottle. Okay. So let's get this. This one is not quite like I want it. like that like that one and this testers work uh, just like the uh, pinata the the, the, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> the jacquard pinata ink it works the same Y'all, I be trying to do some little swirls and stuff, but <laughs> sometimes it just don't happen. It just don't happen the way that I want it sometimes. Like how bad it is, though. Some people are artists and some people try to fake it till they make it. Guess which one I am. <laughs> I'm the one that just try to fake it till you make it. I can't draw. I can't draw none of that stuff, y'all. Although I do have to say I, I'm going to claim this, and although it's been many, 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 many years back, but I did have, um, in my art class, uh, probably the eighth grade, I think, eighth maybe. Anyway, I did, they did take some of my art and put it up in the museum, and I don't know whether it's still there or not, but... I was like, you know, at the time, it didn't matter. But now that I think about it, it's like, oh, man, I wonder, is it still there? I doubt it. All that new talent that they have now, I doubt it very seriously. Okay. I think I'm done with this. Except for, like, when, um... When it's time to demold, then I'll take and put some gold around the edges as well. Oh, shoot. That was cute. It's almost a little hard. Okay. I feel like I need something here and here, which I didn't get a lot that time. I'm gonna go here again. Well, I didn't put nothing up there. Try to keep a little bit of the 
middle so that you can see through it unlike that one you can't see through that one so he's cute it'll work for last minute y'all I keep grabbing at my torch and I used it. I'm going to get out of the habit. I'm going to get out of the habit in a minute. All right. So I'm going to let that sit there and we'll see uh, how the effects is going to turn out and we'll take and demold it um, once it's cured and we'll see how Camellia 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 yeah Camellia we'll see how Camellia likes it she may be like oh no I don't like that that's not what I envisioned but she wanted to see those two colors together on the um, and, and the complete video of the um, wine rack and the coasters. So uh, if this one don't do it, then we'll go for another one and we'll do a different type of uh, wine rack. So I just want to make sure that my subscribers are happy and they get to see different things, you know, and they won't have to necessarily wonder what to do with this or that. They'll just know, okay, well, it's been done this way, so I'm going to try this way, and it should work. So, you know, hey, she may like it. She might. But if not, we'll try again. So don't forget, like, share, subscribe, and all of that good stuff. But I'll be back for the reveal. Hello to my crafty creators. I'm back again and it is time to demold. So let's cross fingers, wish me good luck, and all that good stuff. All of that. It seems to be coming off fairly easy. So I am proud about that. Yes. Isn't that gorgeous? Wow. That's pretty. One down. Set this to the side. I'm gonna demold this one. I could have had this done yesterday, but I got a little bit busy and a little bit lazy. Okay, that came out pretty good too. It's awesome. I like it. I am concerned though, because I feel this all the way to the top and you know that resin does um, shrink. So I may do a top coat on this. I'm not sure, but uh, for Camellia, she wanted to see what it looks like. So um, hopefully when I have my live, uh, she will be in attendance and it will be, I can just give her this and I will do a top coat at that time. If this is something that she was interested in having. Okay. This one came off nice too. This right here was from my mold. I need to get a new mold so but this it looks great it looks great it came out great let me stand up and let you see up close it's really nice i like it this one was the one that spread it out a little faster it it gave those effects and um i like it but if it was gonna be like this, then this one should have been the same. 
you get what I'm saying so this one is evenly evenly done okay and that's the back it's nice though you know um, like I said May Springs have like the best colors for me the best color pigment with the effects mica powder let me correct myself mica powder <laughs> um uh but yeah this this looks just as good too it looks good so now i'm just gonna take and uh put you on hold first i'll do one and then i'll put you on hold and do the rest of them and have it set up so that you can see so let me get this right And I'm going to go ahead and get it done. You know, I'm kind of slow with doing this right here, but um, I guess some people don't mind. If they do, they just fast forward and uh, I'm pretty sure it'll be okay. Y'all, let me tell you, I am so happy that I am rapidly <laughs> and I mean rapidly growing and it's like I'm so blessed you know because I I never was at the point that I wanted to give up with um doing this YouTube channel I never was at that point because I enjoy it too much let's see if I'm still in the camera yeah I enjoy it way too much to give up on it but you know it can get kind of uh, it can let you down a little bit when you don't get the views or you don't get the comments that you want and well not that you want but comment in general it can let you down but uh, for me I just want to keep going you know and it doesn't matter, you know, if everybody don't watch it. it. It does matter, but what I'm saying is I still want to put the content out because eventually somebody will watch it and somebody will see that, uh, you know, I enjoy doing it. I really enjoy doing this stuff. I love it so much that... Uh, I put my t-shirt uh, making and all of that other stuff to the side because uh, I really just, this is my heart right now. <laughs> and I'm not going to say right now, I'm going to say it's probably going to be everlasting because I've, I've made the t-shirts and done embroidery for six years. Um, and maybe I should take away the first two years because, you know, you have to go through your learning process. So, um, but if you ever like go on Instagram, you will see that, uh, bye baby. Have fun. Love you. I love you too. Y'all be careful. If you ever go on my Instagram channel or um facebook on for facebook it's monogramming plus and for instagram i think it's it might be monogramming plus but it might be the craft of nook because i don't know how to do all of that stuff but um you can check out some of my older work and you can see you know that i do the embroidery that i was doing and the t-shirt making that i was doing you know, it was, it was nice. It was real nice. And, um, I just, I loved it. I loved it. Uh, and I think I still do love it. Is anybody camera? Yeah. I still do love it. But the thing is now, um, sometimes you outgrow things and, you know, it's so many people in my area 
that is doing um, t-shirts and stuff like that and when I started it you know it was some people that were doing it but it wasn't as many and you know from I know I'm getting that all over the place and oh my god I might be making a real mess right now let's see if I can get it off real quick I have to get it off with alcohol but um where am I when I started it y'all I'm telling you I was swamped I had stuff in uh, North Carolina South Carolina um, Georgia um, New York New Jersey um, oh my god I cannot think of all the places that I've done Missouri I mean I've had work all over the place you know and these people it was because you know my work I had good quality work and I had very very affordable prices and the turnaround was great so um, I like doing it but with a one person uh, position and you don't want to like hire anybody because you know they won't do things just as you would do them I think I'm, I'm gonna continue um, talking I'm not gonna put you on pause just sit that there so it won't uh, get all over the place but uh, yeah my my work is like literally all over the place and um, I, I liked it I liked it but like I said it became overwhelming for you know one person and so then I started picking and choosing like um, what all work I would do I'm gonna do the top first on this one what all work that I would do because you know I still had a family still have my mother-in-law that you know I need to help take care of and of her a husband of course and so it all got a lot busy for me you know sometime I will be in my shop I tell you no joke I will be in my shop from the time I get up to 12 and 1 o'clock in the morning you know I even had this uh, one time I had uh, I had to get uh, I had to get like 21 shirts done 21 or 24 and you know about let's see I forget how long I had the shirts but it wasn't like a long time but they needed the shirts like over from over the weekend and I had to embroider the shirts. Well, I had I digitized them, and then, you know, I got the approval of how they wanted it. And y'all, I had surgery. I had surgery. I had to be I have a stent put in my back for my uh, kidneys, and I was hurting. So so bad so bad I took that night because I needed to have those shirts finished the next morning because I you know I just had to keep pushing it keep I had to keep trying and um I was hurting so bad I was crying not like tears rolling on your face but <laughs> I was crying so bad and my husband he had took a fishing trip this particular weekend and so there was no one home but myself and my daughter and um, 
Okay, I'm back, y'all. I'm sorry. But, um, like I said, I was, I was like hurting so bad. So I told my daughter, it was about, about one o'clock in the morning. You know, I realized that the pain wasn't easing up. You know, everything was just happening so fast. So I told my daughter, I said, baby, I need you to help me go outside. We got to get a table and get my, my machine, my embroidery machine. I said, we're gonna have to take this stuff loose and I need to get, I've, I've got an all-in-one uh, computer. So I, I was like, we need to get the computer, get the embroidery machine, get the table, and um, we need to bring the shirts in. So, you know, I was like, almost huffing and puffing trying to get that out so anyway we were able to get the stuff in the house because i didn't want to come outside because like i said um myself and my daughter we were home and uh yeah i have i know how to use a weapon and all of that but man i was hurting so bad i wouldn't think about a weapon all i was thinking about was just get the stuff in the house so that i can lay down on the bed while the machine is um, doing the stitches. So I got those shirts done, y'all. I got those shirts done and I think it was like two, two of them. It might have been two or three that I didn't do that I said, I just, I can't do no more. So I, I stopped and I got up at like about six o'clock that morning and I finished those shirts. Let me tell you, that's dedication. That is dedication right there. Um, although I was hurting so bad and felt like I needed to be admitted in the hospital, y'all, you wouldn't understand how much I was hurting. Oh God, just to think of that pain all over again, it's like, oh no, I, I wouldn't, I wouldn't wish that on my worst enemy. I wouldn't wish that on nobody. And I had the stint placed in before because you know, you have them put in and you keep them in for about a couple of weeks and then you, you get them taken out. Well, I had this uh, happen to me before, but it was nothing like this. It was a breeze, y'all. <laughs> and when I say it was a breeze, I did everything. Nothing, I didn't hurt. I was good. No problem at all. But the second time I had that thing done, that thing killed me until it came out. It really did. Until it came out. When it came out, then... I was like, okay, um, you know, it. I was my. I was better. I was a whole lot better. But yeah, that was an experience like nobody, nobody, nobody should have that type of pain. It was worse than having a baby. It was worse than, than a toothache. It was worse than a migraine cluster headache. It was awful. When I say awful, it was awful. I, mm, girl, I was thinking that maybe I had to do this, you know, do this over because I, I really, I wasn't satisfied and I don't know whether that was why, you know, I wasn't really talking or um, that's why, you know, I couldn't really get into it because it just was I wasn't feeling it yesterday and I think that's why I didn't finish yesterday because I was like you know I I'm not feeling this Some, something is wrong but I think it was just me um, sometimes I have to get away from what I'm doing so that I can you know feel better about it 
is I, I wasn't feeling so thrilled about this yesterday. But today is a new day. New day, new day. Let's get, see, can I get that off? So I don't want anything on the inside of that. Yep, I got it. But yeah. How was y'all night last night? Y'all had a good night? I did. I had a good night. And y'all, let me tell you. <laughs> y'all, I do not drink, okay? Um, I had some uh, pineapple Stella Rose. Okay, I had probably this much in a little cup y'all that thing made me go to sleep and you know it's nothing but five percent alcohol that thing made me go to sleep i was like oh goodness because i wanted to taste it you know everybody um talking about the stella rose this the stella rose that and i was like i don't drink but i'm gonna see what that thing tastes like so i um i bought well, my husband bought me a um a bottle which I'm is what I'm going to use for um to put this on. But he bought me a bottle and girl, I taste that thing and I was like, "Uh-uh. Mm -mm, this is not for me." And I don't know why I do this. It's like I want to taste it, you know, just to see what it tastes like, but I don't want to drink it. Anybody do that? <laughs> I want to taste it so I can see what it's like. So I can see what it is everybody talking about. But then I don't drink it. So last night I said, okay. I taste it and I was like, hmm. I don't too much like it. But at the same time I said, well, I'm going to see. I'm just going to try it and finish drinking it, you know, I don't like to waste nothing. So, that's what I did um, last night. So, <laughs> um, yeah, I just wanted to taste it. I, like, mm, about maybe five, four or five years ago, I tried to, you know, drink some wine, some red wine, you know, for my heart and stuff like, cause I don't have no heart problems. But, you know, when you listen to these people on the TV and you're like, oh, okay, well I might need to drink some of that, you know, to, for my heart, keep my heart good or whatever. Girl, uh, I did not need to be drinking that, um, that red wine cause it was nasty. And I was like, uh-uh. Can y'all see me? Yeah. I was like, mm -mm, I'm not drinking that. So, I went on for a while. And I was like, um, I, drinking is just not for me. You know, you, you have things for people sometimes. And sometimes it's for you and sometimes it's not. Well, it's not for me, y'all. I be trying. I be trying. But it, it's it's just not for me. My eldest daughter, she was like, Ma, what is it that I can drink that ain't going to be burning and stuff? I was like, girl, I don't know. I don't know. But we we can't. We're not drinkers. We, we cannot drink. I'm telling you. We cannot drink. So I'm just not going to. Forceful, forcefully make myself drink. I be trying, you know, but if some, I, I wish that somebody could tell me like a really smooth wine that you don't have to drink a lot of, a red wine, and it tastes good. <laughs> 
let me know uh, a wine that tastes good because, honey, your girl is not a drinker. Mountain Dew, oh yeah. I'm up on that. <laughs> Mountain Dew is, man, Mountain Dew need to get at me, I'm telling you. I drink so much Mountain Dew, and when I don't drink it, oh God, I have a major headache. That's bad, isn't it? I have me some water in my little um, refrigerator over there. I have a, a small, like a college style refrigerator here in my shop. I'm trying to get my husband to, you know, to get me a toilet and a sink. I do need the sink for washing my hands, washing the molds, you know, if I itch something or whatever. I need the sink for that, but you know what he told me, y'all? He said, you will never come in the house. <laughs> But I will. I'm not I'm not like that no more. I got my shop in 2017 and um I was like, oh God, I stayed out here, y'all. Morning in the afternoon, at night, late at night. I just bought the gun with me and I was like, okay, baby, I'll be in the house after a while. And after a while it took about two or three o'clock in the morning y'all don't do that don't do that your husband needs you in the bed girl need you in the bed i was like i was happy on my little shop y'all nobody well y'all realize that having your own space when you're um crafting and stuff you realize that that is like your second home. That's cute. That's cute. Camilla, I hope you like that, babe. I hope you do. But here's the Stella Rose, empty, down the drain. Okay. So, you put that like that, okay? The glasses is gonna balance it out, all right? And of course, you'll have your nice um, coasters to go along with it. Now, of course, you can't see from this view and I'll take a picture, but I don't wanna put the glasses up there until this part right here, till it gets um, dry, but it turned out nice. I, I'll, I'll say that I because I really was not feeling it. I was not. I promise you. Yesterday I was like, and in actually this morning I was like, okay, so I'm just gonna go ahead and prepare to do another set. But when you walk away and come back, you have a better outlook and. That's exactly what I have a better outlook at it now because um, I didn't. I really didn't earlier. I really, really didn't. Let me see if I have, <coughs> excuse me. Give me one second. I'm trying to get a um, wine glass. have some that I, I keep in here but um, they all gotta get cleaned up they're a little dusty and stuff I don't think this one is as dusty but these little glasses here um, and this is one that I itched I put a um, a G on it um, and it turned out nice I like it um, sometimes I, I do etching and, you know, for weddings and stuff like that, but nothing too major. Nothing too major, honey. I'm telling you. And we're going to just slide that up there. And the other one, we're going to slide that one in. So, 
now that it's nice and balanced I'm gonna take and um, get me a nice picture and uh, yeah it, it did pretty good y'all so look if y'all don't mind please like share subscribe let these people know you know I'm in effect I'll try something out for somebody I'll um you know just let just as Camilla cut I'm sorry Camilla just as she said you know she'd like to see how it is in the teal and gold so you know I was like okay yep that'll be my next video because I want to keep my people engaged I want them to know that I listen to them I read their comments and I'm here for them you know what I mean sometimes it's not like that with people and I don't know why but sometimes it's not and people don't just do you know what they say they're gonna do or whatever but I love y'all so I know y'all tired of me rambling okay I know I know I know I know I know I promise I'm gonna stop so much I can't help it y'all I love talking to y'all and I look um, responding back to y'all. But I'll take a picture for you, uh, Camelia. And I hope you like how it, it is. I hope you like that, you know, I try to go through every step. Uh, I'm hoping that you like how it turned out. I just hope that you fully enjoyed it, okay? So everybody else, y'all have a good day. If you got any recommendations, let me know. If you want to collaborate, let me know. Um, if you just want me to try something, let me know. I always leave my email in the description. So, uh, yeah. Just enjoy. And I'll see y'all later. Bye.